Bear with us. Uh, let's uh, watch the Labour mask, Keir Starmer's mask, slipping at a lefties conference in Montreal. Uh, take it away, Keir. Most of the conflict with the UK being outside of the UK arises in so far as the UK wants to diverge and do different things to the rest of our EU partners. Um, obviously, the more we share values, the more we share a future together, the less the conflict. Um, and actually, different ways of solving problems um, are, are, are become available. You know, actually, we don't want to diverge. We don't want to lower standards. We don't want to rip up um, environmental standards, working standards for people at work, um, food standards and all the rest of it. Uh, so there you go, Trevor. We don't want to diverge from the EU. That's the Labour leader's pledge. Uh, now, correct me if I'm wrong, but we had this referendum in uh, 2016 in which the people of this country voted to diverge from the EU. This is a betrayal of democracy, isn't it? democracy schmocracy um this is uh he's let the cat out of the bag here kevin hasn't he and this changed the rules of the game the contest that seemed to be wide open uh, or other uh, wide open to labor in other words that they were going to win uh, in a walkover sometime next year when the election is called has suddenly changed and i'm waiting for opinion polls of which one appeared this morning in the sun uh and uh, it showed that a very large proportion of people don't like many things about the Labour Party under Keir Starmer, not just the European Union, um, rejoining the European Union in all but name, uh, Brian o, um, but also the green crap that people talk about. <laughs> uh, there are two big dividing lines now which have broken open between the Conservative Party and the Labour Party, and it's all down to Keir Starmer. He's let the cat out of the bag. And I think it's very dangerous for this uh, opposition leader who thought that he, that he thought he was going to waltz into uh, number 10 next year. Yeah, uh, you know, vote Starmer, get Brussels. That's the deal. Uh, he'll probably be cl uh, careful not to actually rejoin in name, but it's quite clear he wants to rejoin in all but name. And uh, he's talking about, you know, the our partners, the EU, our partners. This is another thing we voted uh, for, was to not be partners with the EU. If we want to make any trade deals, we should make them with separate countries, because I think the EU's a sclerotic organisation that's on its way out anyway. Uh, but uh, again, you know, this talking of, you know, cozying up to Macron, going to the uh, what makes this guy think that that's what the British people want? Well, he has done ever since Brexit took place and uh, since the vote and since the actual legislation which broke us away from uh, the European Union uh, under Boris Johnson. And uh, this is not new. The only thing that's new about it is that he is openly admitting it. I think that what's happened is that over the last year or so, with Rishi Sunak sitting there uh, in Downing Street trying to bring the nurse the British economy back onto an even keel, doing very little of the sort of uh, things that Conservative voters are desperate for him to do, has sort of enticed uh, an overconfident Keir Starmer to pop his head out from his shell. And he's in danger of having it locked off because suddenly he's declaring things we long suspected, uh, that uh, they want to have a green agenda which will Im impoverish uh, the British working classes who are traditional, allegedly traditional Labour voters. And he wants to drag us back into the European Union. Now, you can't be an associate member of an organisation like the European Union. The European Union gives nothing away in terms of trade or markets or uh, free movement without demanding much, much more in return. They never give anything away for nothing. Exactly. So, as I say, uh, if anyone wants to vote for Keir Starmer and Labour, you effectively are um, overturning the Brexit vote because he's getting us back into Europe. Uh, simple as.